All right. Here we go again, a more Russian sexy Russian. Or do we? Hmm. Yep, there we go. Just needed a minute to load. You down there out the way then. And back we go. Well. Please select the desired procedure. Trying to remember what the buttons are. Right, that's that. That's dodge. The weapon will be out. Yep. All right. Oh, just hanging around, dude. Ah, right. This is where that stupid ball thing was, isn't it? Ow. I just lost health because of reasons. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. Ah, let's go find it. Well, just you. What you staring at? Whoa. Uh. Ow, ow, hello, stuck. Put and kick back on that shotgun like Jesus. Resident Evil Combat, this is not. Spencer's comrade, Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully specific. Oh, finally, someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. They've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the light sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end, but it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. He kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be all the vaccinations fault. Dead people being so chatty. Residual oh. brain activity. Okay. So long. Who was he talking to? There's no another dead body up here. Very good. Ow. Okay. I didn't make it. Oh, hello. Yeah, no. God, I'm gonna run out of ammo soon. I need to be on that one to get up. Yeah, to get up there.
Sneaky, sneaky up the stairs so the fat robot doesn't see me. Oh, clever boy. Pretending to be dead. come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Do, 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 do. We just need to find those motors. Comrades, we need to do something about the mushroom spores in the germination department. They Please sent us another the robot they said was on the fridge. I need so some more ammo. And it's full of mushrooms on the inside. The whole thing is packed with mycelia. What is it about the robot's polymer environment that the mushrooms like so much? At this rate, we'll have mushroom techs instead of lab techs. Grides are smart, right? Come up with something. There we go. Can't wait till I get a better weapon. Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Oh. This is going to be dangerous. It's like an elevator sequence, really, isn't it? Be careful, it's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Of course it has. And that is going to involve in something attacking me. Yep. This was obvious. Wow, dick. Canister will be filled in five days. Do 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 Ow. Who gives the robots laser beams? Lousy goddamn cable car go any faster. No one foresaw this particular turn of events. All right, it was I a can... rhetorical question, Chuck. All right. Come on. Am I meant to come up here? Whoa! Okay. Reason. 
You evil? Also? How do I make? What's that one? Just change it round for the love of God. There we go. Jeez. Oh. Was it uh, there for no reason? What was the point of that? <laughs> no idea why that made the gondola thing stop. <laughs> oh, there's fat robot. <laughs> you know, they could have just made this the three on that side, and we would have been done. Here we go again. Just need to speed up the last motor. No, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Yes, yes, we'll have to worry about ammo. I haven't got a lot of ammo. What are you talking about, you bell end? Pleasant lights all around, Shayla's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. That damn little robot. Major Nick. Well, can't make any more shotgun shells. That's just swell. Do, do, do. Get out of this fucking whoa. I don't know what that was. Let me guess, they're all hovering around this thin canister thing defending it. Yeah, let's see, I can still hear one somewhere. Yoink. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? 
Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. What your fault? I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. Let it go. What do you mean? Isn't let it, it go. obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Ooh. New bullet, a new weapon. Operation Amazon. Like the online retailer. Oh, what door puzzle is this? Oh, it's not the fucking... Fucking light one is the worst one. And it was just a flipping shortcut. Is that it? There's a lot of dead people down here. Oh. Hi, robot. Won't like it shit itself. Ah, uh, the boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay, I'll deal with it. This gun's quite good.
seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and yeah, equalize pressure it. in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Can I go in that end? Can I go in there? No, that's not. Hmm. That's not an entrance either. Ah, that's where it's coming. Wee! Please tell me I need to put one in each one. It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Yeah, I was gonna say, some will be, some it's gonna spawn. Is it just the one? Nope. Come along, little ball. Like some of the uh, for Boyard or something, I don't know, is it? Try to win all the money and everything. With a crystal maze. Okay, second one's all set. Yep, knew you were gonna come in, pal. How do you like that, gearhead? Oh, Charles you take more shots. Never heard him before. I have no idea. Jesus this Christ! Is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. It could be anything. The future is vast. Are they only dying two shots because of the knackered ones? Do do do. Gonna get copyrighted by this music. Shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Babylon complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Cause you're in a video game, dude. Whoops. I went into the wrong one. Do, 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 do. Wish I could turn the music off, because I've already got it off in the menu in game, but So all section will be muted because the copyright probably. That's a dead end. Well, charge stabilized. Employees may return to their workstations. How? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Anymore. Comrade Major, 
Have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of this homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, yeah, keep the check alive. Right. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. You want anything? Nah, don't do me any favors. Major I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. Just trying to help. You know all the mashed potatoes will be gone, and then I'll have to hear all about it. Ah, go on, I'll catch up to you. Hell, I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg? I don't need nobody to pay. Do I, get an I can rifle? get there myself without their help. I don't want pity, I want respect, damn it! I'll be Authorization. running around Major. you yet. Mark my words. Eh? Well, ah, uh, I see. I see, I see. Right, that's better. I'm really too much ammo to carry. Oh. What's in this room that's going to try and kill me? What's the hot workshop used for? Heat resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticus cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Wait. Something like that. They plan to That was just a big frickin' circle. Go that way. Go down there, but I don't know whether that's where I need to go or not. No, I've been in that room before. That was just where that treasure chest was. Ah, I see. Going up. Oh no, I need to go one more. Watch out. What? No. What? Uh, why do you jump like a freaking pansy? Climb. fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Cool. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try Possibly to, to kill me. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what audio I said. Over audio over audio over audio. Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0 with good reason. 
She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the brown plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov. I don't want to know what the brown plague is. Friend, Please don't tell me he was trying to lie to together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Oh, we're gonna go this way now. Because of course there's another two puzzle rooms to do yet. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee and it grabbed me by the neck and snapped it. Right Kinky. Here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. Was that your first time? Way. The first day the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. Oh, excellent. That's what you want to hear. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, well. and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day the you don't need to tell me again. With them. Every corridor... Sorry, but gotta go. Yeah. Oh, another save room. Keeps giving me stuff, but none of it's a new, a new assault rifle or a new weapon. Whoa! What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. There's something wrong with this sprout. Yeah, I killed it. Or did I not kill it? Because there's a window there. Did it just die of its own accord? That guy getting eaten by a chicken. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. The deadliest of all animals. KFC, better watch out. Oh. Um, hi. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Oh, look at the heads. That's a cool design, that. Got like plant heads. Congratulations on your promotion, Comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary oh, goal God. is to provide... It's just too much audio and shit in this game. Oh, that's another dead person to talk to. Gee, no thanks. 
Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. That's why we made a killer chicken. For reasons. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Oh, that's seen us. Oh, I've got no ammo. Shit. Reload. You stink. Shut up. I wasn't talking. I only hear where. Fuck off. God, these robots are so annoying. Seriously. Stop spawning. Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. Stop it. Chicken. Gotta put you down, chicken. I'm sorry. Can't have the killer chicken on the loose. What's in this one? For the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. What the fuck? Oh, it's Darth Vader? Yes. It's spinning. That should do the trick. Oh, the piggy in that one. Am I just turning things for no reason? Oh no. Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. It's a puzzle of some description. So the pig, this pig wrong? So two of the, the cows are wrong. That cow? That cow? Nope, not that cow. Can't 
this cow? No. This cow? Oh. Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? Oh. To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. Oh no. I just... <laughs> That's all the fun of looking. <laughs> if Peter's watching this, I'm sorry. I did not know that would do it to that. <laughs> do not cancel me. I love animals. That's what she said. So many planters in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terror. The moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now, it's not working for shit. We need what to about Uranus? Panel. No one ever thinks of Uranus. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Right, so that one. Yes, that one. No, 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 no. That one back in the middle again. There we go. So the green one, I need to move off the bottom. Push the button. There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Yeah. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Well, we can, unless they start coming in here. Temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. No. Can I use the shock? Use shock. Oh, that gun is just. No good against them. Ow. Stop it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. It's like the zombies. Filthy animal. Ow. Shut up. Fucking commando lunging across the room. Running, running, and running, running. Oh. Hello. What was that? Die, please. Would you die? Oh, he's gooping. I did have some lovely ammo and now it's all fucking gone. Whoa! You just die! 
Jesus. Oh shit, well, fire axe time. Make me some ammo, please. Oh, of course, yep, yeah. it did. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Another melee weapon. Jesus Christ. Like it here, sugar? Oh. I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Enter me hard and often. Oh, fuck. The developers of this game are really, really into some weird shit. You couldn't have grabbed the pipe, dude? Couldn't have grabbed the pipe. This gun's great for taking out the shite ones, but when it's an actual proper hard robot, it's just crap. Can you not hit me because I'm ducked? Wow! Don't break in the combat! The <laughs> fucking robot gun did this because I was ducked down. Fucking genius rebel robot. Couldn't hit me because I was ducking. Oh, didn't see you there. I was too busy scratching my face.
We created a polymer cell. Well, that's what was talking to us. So what the hell's talking? Right, that's just a circle around from that room. Fucking Oh no. Not the ones with laser beams. Ow! Dick. Jesus Christ. Who put laser beams in its fucking head? No. No laser beams. Getting better at that one, just being more patient with us. Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. Stop seeing crispy critters, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh. I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now. Yeah, right. A container. Yeah. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of uh, kind of cylinder. Find that yellow cylinder, or we're screwed. Okay. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Data. Yeah, but I'm not so, what will the most it be, Major? best person to find in things. Shotgun shells! Oh. Fucking puzzle time. Entry number one, April 16th. The mutations... Down! Schnitzel! Bad dog! Not Schnitzel! Uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing CP388, codename Hemlock, I've observed some unusual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis. It's developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in the corresponding direction. Ah, honey, what's for dinner? That was just weird. Clearly, this, this is what we need. Is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure, fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. How do I move it?
Oh, they really like this fucking light one now, don't they? Whoops. Whoops. Right, I'm guessing that's just a shortcut. This is just another save room. Success, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being well, sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Do I, why I want this move more? Whee! I'm guessing I've got to go that way. Why are all the controls up in the fucking air? I'm gonna guess coming down here. Yeah, I need to be up there. Oh, damn it. Why would you put all the controls up in the bloody air? Ah, oh, it's just another dead person. I don't want to talk to them. They don't tell you anything in helpful. They just waffle on about absolute nonsense. Oh, puzzle. Whee! Forward. Spin. Forward. Now at six percent. We need to hurry. Crispy critters. I'm trying. Please stop saying crispy critters. It doesn't make any sense. Dead end. Another dead end. What was the point of this door being open? 
Yeah, I know I can dash in the air when I jump. Forward! Forward! Pesticide level decreased. Now at four percent. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Log number two, April nineteenth. I've been studying. Go go go! go. Schnitzel. I've noticed that the slime mold. What are you doing with Schnitzel? Now, we're all going to die. Okay with me. You first. Josh, shoot. Reduced. This, well, it explains how the clan feeds itself. By grabbing its stems, for example. Just a second. What? What are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! What the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. You don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's like a great plan 42. Hang on! Not a resident evil. Okay, buddy. Yeah, we did it. Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up. My leg is stuck. Shoot it already. There's too many of them. Hurry. I'm trying. If they get to us, we're dead. About aiming better? They're almost here. Get up, get up. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm not trying hard enough. Help me. Get it off me. Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. No, buddy. Buddy's, buddy's pretty dead. Fucking canister. Well, it's something. Buddy? Buddy, no! No shit, Sherlock. Best character. Dead. Buddy. Crispy crust. Stop saying crispy critters. Holy shit. Sorry, buddy. Insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant what? killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov. So, what will it be, Major? Weapon? Sure, why not? We'll buy an upgrade. Well, I haven't bought an upgrade in a while. Access granted. Can't upgrade the magazine? Oh, no, I can't. Missing part of that. Okay, no idea. Whatever. Try to upgrade the magazine on this, but it's not gonna let me do it. A point.
Well. That ain't good. That one's on fire. Whoa! That one flew across the room. Yeah, I haven't got ammo to fight all of these stupid things. Whoa! Ow! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ow! And I can't climb up there. You fucking kidding me. Whoa! Everybody in the mom's over there. Climb! For the love of God! Oh, it's a boss fight. I didn't realize it was a boss fight. Bye, buggy bugs. Fading data. Do you like our bush hot stuff? It is so adorable. What the hell are you rambling on about? What bush? The one you took the polymer canister from, handsome. You mean that overgrown hemlock plant? What's cute about it? I like the way it strangles people with its tendrils. They pop like bubble wrap. Oh, so cute. Say one more fucked up thing about killing people and I'll tear you a new one. No, you won't, big guy. Who's going to pleasure you if you do? Then I'll rip out your voice module to shut you up. Cholas will fix it. But I love it when you talk like that. Scold me. Yes, tell me off harshly. Shut up. <laughs> Fading data. This is... Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol. Although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. No. Oh, yo, God, it's gonna start spawning about 20 fucking goddamn robots. Oh, it spawned a man this time. Die. Die. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, they chased me down. Yeah, you better walk away after I run away like a coward. Pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. The peck for birch tree vegetative power generator is now fully this game is so weird. Done. The gate is open. 
We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure, why yeah, not? Yeah, sure, I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. No shotgun shells at all. Is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story Can't is really that Professor that. Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental <laughs> neurotoxin. Slipped and fell. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well... Shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like... A dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. Oh, how uh, but well, long is elevator? Zaharov had known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous. He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Do 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 Seriously? What are we in Mass Effect 1? What the hell is wrong with these elevators? Finally. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Fading data. Authorization. Major Nichayev. That's all I've got enough to make that many. Two shells. Yep, yep, more audio nonsense. Oh, 20 paragraphs, pretty long. Mm-hmm. 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 And we're finally outside. Chelas, what are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. Yeah, but they're gonna bring things back to life like that while we just stand and watch them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub Whoa. as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera is a robot, 
A level 2 alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Jeez. I'm stuck. Fuck it, what? I'm just glitched in me there. Full price game, by the way. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information. Muda cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub, known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. Oh, hello, dude. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other Lovely. than the Terrish Cobas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Terrish Cobas. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. I don't know where Terrish Cobra is, though. God, they're everywhere. Collective seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I recommend stealth. I'm already late to the VDNH. Sechenov said I needed to hurry. A frontal assault carries a high probability of death. I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. Can you? Not with me, but he controlling you, you can't. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Yeah, let's not and see what we did. Trapped by this giant fucking fence. I can't climb over. Fuck's sake. Ow. Jesus Christ. been locked by the security system we need to gain access the only way to do this is by connecting Back in to the, the security cameras fucking house i was just in i lack that ability there's a special camera diagnostic system cds2 Valon. i can use one to connect to the that system might come in handy 
You have other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this vicinity. Detecting its signal, <coughs> use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. They're increasing their sensor range. You've triggered their sensors, Major. I can't even get to the fucking door. There's all these people killed by robots that can't get through doors. Oh, that one learned. I'm not looking forward to finding out what the hell is going on outside. Stuck on the staircase! What the... what? Why? What? Oh, that's where I need to be. It's not in this house. That was stupid. I went in that house and nearly died repeatedly for nothing. Will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? you like still alive, the cute Jesus. Little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. They yeah. can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Yeah, yeah. Granny. Hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. The true best character of the game, Granny. Soap dispenser or something? Oh! <coughs> well, that's the problem. You son of a bitch. I haven't got the ammo to fight you. Please don't tell me I've got to fight that. Nope, badass granny's gonna kill it forward. Fucking bot almost killed me. <laughs> oh, 
a long time to get a ladder down. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. I'd love a cup of tea. Milk too, sugars. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? Regarding Shush. the reports. Your beloved Sechimov son. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of... Are you? Our atomic heart project oh, is in He said the name of the game. My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Sechenov. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Molotov. Operation what Atomic name? Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I have no idea. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Ooh. Yep, change cartridges. Authorization. Major Nichaya. But I can't make it because I am infant uh, not enough resources. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. 
I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Well, I can't leave without talking to her. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Zena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. <laughs> That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. Jesus. How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chip chicken before? I saw chicken that, killing actually, people before. I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. Anyway... I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. Ooh, can I have a few I really phones? appreciate the help. Well, I've missed quite a bit, it's probably quite a bit down there. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Thanks, Granny. Charles. Who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this Atomic Heart Project? Wow. Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade well, Montauk. Dead. I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechen. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Okay, let's open the gate. We're the system. Either? We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Thought I did that. Eh, I've opened the gate.
Let me go. I've opened the gate. Fucking stand. Why can't I go? Oh. Idiot, there's a button. Get the hell out of this area! Go, 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 go! This way? Ain't no way of knowing where I'm actually going Try not to drive off a cliff Somehow my car is now stuck. Well, it looks like I'm walking. Another car would be great. <laughs> Any of these drivable? On the station and the train is right there all we have to do now is take a seat and we're off i sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way don't jinx it glove otherwise we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door well i already know what's gonna happen now there are bodies everywhere they never saw the bots coming no one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression no shit I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people... There are no tickets! The window is closed! Jeez, keep it down, will ya? This seems to be an instance of residual... Uh, I'm not in the mood to shoot the shit. Oh.
What? Okay, so I'm, not, I'm stuck. That was stupid. I did bash the fucking button, right? But never mind. Do, 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 do. Oh, friendly. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility Thirty-Eight Twenty-Six transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is zero percent. You may depart immediately. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. Well, we will look for a ticket next time, because it is getting late, so I shall stop here for now. So, as always, thank you for watching, and goodbye.